okay guys in this video tutorial we are going to talk about uh, again the war between uh, the cell uh, of our immune system and obviously uh, against the cancerous cells right so again in this video majorly we'll be talking about so let me take a color here okay so majorly we'll be talking about how uh, the cancer cells how the cancer cells go against our cell of immunity right against this is our goal okay so we've just discussed that uh, how immune cells are going against cancer and they find the cancer cells and kill them now cancer cells will definitely going to find some mechanisms to escape the immunity right so how cancer cell escapes immunity so in this video I'm going to talk about four important feature of cancer cells to go against immunity so let's begin the first one that I'm going to talk about let's say here the first one is what is called uh, the MHC expression right so this is MHC expression now normally what we know that uh, uh, all the cells so let me draw in normal cells or in all the nucleated cells that are present inside our body uh, what we know that there are cells and uh, obviously nucleus and they express MHC1 molecule outside so say this is MHC1 molecule they express outside right now this is MHC1 now what is the importance of this MHC1 molecule that this MHC1 molecule can hold on to some peptides which are self or non self both the type of peptides they can hold on to outside right and using this MHC molecule of this peptide other immune cells can come and attach with this uh, cell and it can signal that yes there is something going on inside the cell which is wrong right for example the peptide that MHC1 is expressing outside is a foreign peptide for example let's say it's a foreign peptide say it's a foreign peptide now, as it is a foreign peptide now uh, immune cells will be informed so immune cell will be informed with this interaction of MHC with other immune receptors right so as they get this information that it, they are uh, the foreign peptide so that that must be some invader inside this cell so you need to find that invader or kill this cell so they the immune system cells like killer cells like macrophages will come and obviously natural killer cells will come and cytotoxic killer cells or CTLs will come and actually uh, they are going to kill these cells right so immune cells so so for example this cancer cells will go against this process how so simply it's a simple strategy that if they uh, decrease the expression of MHC so if they decrease the formation of the MHC outside so as a result of that no other cells can detect the presence of them so that is the first strategy to exp to minimize the expression of MHC class 1 molecule outside right so if I draw the cancerous cells here so here it is a cancerous cell this is a cancerous cells big C now it is minimizing the expression of this MHC outside so very few MHC outside but on the normal cells there are a lot of MHC molecules that are coming outside right this is how it actually works so this is the first type of modification now the second type of modification that we are going to talk about is again mediated by the cancer cells it is called uh, the antigenic sorry it is called antigenic uh, what you can say uh, regulation or modulation so let me say antigenic modulation okay modulation now this process is something different again so this is about the MHC1 now let's talk about the MHC2 now again in other cells like what are called the antigen presenting cells so let me talk about a little bit about antigen presenting cells or APCs now among this antigen presenting cells what we are having we are having macrophages so let me draw macrophages with this red color because it is a scary person so here it is a macrophage a large cell this macrophage is a antigen presenting cell so what it uh, means by antigen presenting cell is that these cells are professionally designed to present antigen outside the cell using what is called MHC class 2 molecule so let me draw here so they are having another type of MHC molecule outside now these are called MHC class 2 molecules so here it is so say this red uh, sorry this blue things are 
of antigen so here it is now this macrophages are important cells which will engulf all the dangerous cells like cancer cells so suppose this macrophage in previous time encounters a cancer cell so it is a cancer cell and macrophage encountered this cell and engulf that cell okay so say macrophage engulf that cell inside so after this engulfment uh, the macrophage will chop this cell and chop the component of the cell into smaller fragments so after this event what what they get is something like that so say this is again the second phase where we they have chopped all the fragments of uh, this cancer peptides and then they will hold this peptide outside using this mac2 molecule so that's what i have drawn till now so this is the sequential events right so first engulf the cell and chop up some uh, fragments of proteins and all those components and hold on to this mhc2 molecules and show it to outside to the whole immune cells so that other cells can come and recognize it right so they can hold on to this now if these antigens are going to going to be recognized then other cells like t cells will be trained and obviously b cells will be trained now what are the functionality of this b cell functionality of b cell is to produce what is called antibodies so they will produce antibodies now after this process when the b cells will produce antibodies this antibody is going to mask the antigen which is found in this cell so these are the antigen remember they are going to go against the antigen and there will be a complex formation of antigen antibody which can be eliminated right so this is another mode of immune response we all know now if this cancer cell minimize the expression of all this antigen processed inside right so what we know that antigen is processed outside and if and only if the antigen is processed and bring outside other cells can recognize it so in this case what they modulate here they modulate the expression of this uh, mhc2 molecules holding the antigens outside so what they does in this case they reengulf this mhc uh, antigen complexes inside the cell right so after that what they can modulate after the modulation what we can get say this is again the macrophage cells but inside what we can see inside we are having vesicles now in this vesicles we are having our antigens with mhc molecules so say this is the mhc molecule and inside somewhere we are having our antigen right so this is called the antigenic modulation this is a type of response that again uh, help this cancer cell to go against the immune response okay now let's bring to the third kind and third type of process that we want to talk about here is so okay the third process is co stimulatory signal co stimulatory signals now what do we mean by this co stimulatory signals actually there are immune cells that are present inside our body again uh, it's all about immune cells say uh, immune cells like uh, t cells t lymphocytes uh, t helper cells and all these cells and obviously the cancer cells so let me draw the cancer cell first so say this is the cancer cell right big c and obviously let me draw here uh, other cell like this black one which is a t cell okay now usually the cancer cell again all this like all the cells it is also having uh, mhc1 molecule and remember mhc1 expression is again decreased but uh, it surely have some amount of mhc outside so this is suppose one mhc one or two or very few mhc but they will have it okay so this mhc is holding the peptide sequences okay now there are also receptors present and found in the t cell which are called the t cell receptor say this is the t cell receptor or it is also called as tcrs now this t cell receptor is a kind of important receptor with which this t cell will detect the presence of the presented antigen of this so in this case it will hold on to uh, and look for the presented antigen which is red in color in this case so it will hold on to that but this interaction though it is a major interaction but this is not enough to provide the t cell signal uh, so that this t cell will kill them right because say this is a cytotoxic killer cell so let's say tc cell or cytotoxic killer cell but still it cannot kill him uh, except uh, it will get signal from other co stimulatory signal molecules right so this is the first kind of interaction that occurs but this is not enough 
to provide the signal. Now the second kind of signal they require in this case on the, is on the basis of another response molecules. For example here uh, from this normal cells there are also costimotorial molecules that are called B7. So let me write this is called B7. This is another co-stimulatory molecule. This is called co-stimulatory because this is not the major type of molecule for the signaling, but uh, the signaling for this molecule is really, really important. And obviously, from the opposite side of T cell, there are other molecules which is called CD24. So this is called CD. Sorry, this is called CD28, not 24. It's 28. So these are the responses. So first kind of response between the MHC class 1 with TCR, which is the major response, but this is the second response, which is between B7 and CD28. Now remember, this uh, for for the proper interaction and activation of cytotoxic killer cell, this cell must provide both MHC1 and also B7. Now in this case, in the first case, we have seen that this cancer cell will minimize the expression of MHC1, but though they express the MHC1, they again minimize the expression of B7 in this case too. So expression of this uh, co-stimulatory molecule is again down-regulated. Now as the expression of co-stimulatory molecule down-regulated, they are not going to provide any signal to this cytotoxic killer cell. So as a result, no killing occurs. So this is another clever way to go against cancer cells. Okay. And now let me extend the page. Okay. Now let us talk about the fourth and final strategy. Uh, and in this case, we are going to talk about what is called antibody masking or AB masking. Okay. Now what do we mean by this antibody masking? So we also again let us talk about uh, the antigenic presenters. Uh, so presenters like MAC2. So for example, similarly that uh, the ca this cell is engulfed. So let me come here in this picture. It will tell us everything. So here it says like this uh, APC or antigen presenting cells. Macrophage is one type of APC. There are other APCs like B cells and dendritic cells which can engulf the cell and uh, chop them up and hold on to uh, the MAC2 molecules and show to all the rest of the immune cells. Now in this case, uh, there are antibodies that are made by B cells. Remember I have told you that B cells can provide antibodies. So there are antibodies provided by B cells. So this antibody will come and attach to this antigen because antibody are very very specific to react with the antigens, right? So let's say here this is an antibody made by B cell to go against the cancer cell antibodies, right? So let's let's come here. Okay. Okay, so here let's say this is our cancer cells and they are getting engulfed and after the engulfment everything occurs and this is a macrophage or antigen presenting cell it is presenting so let's say here it is and it is presenting these peptide sequences outside right and b cells are also provide uh, also provide b cells are going to also provide the antibodies so a lot of antibodies are generated so let's say these are the antibodies that are generated by b cells right so here this is the antibody, like the Y-shaped structure. So this antibody will come and attach to this particular uh, antigens like that. So uh, when uh, throughout this cell of MHC, if there are a lot of antigens that are presented outside, so this is another antigen, this is another antigen, this is another antigen, this is another antigen. So let's say if these are the antigens that are presented, all the antibodies that are going to come and attach to this antigen, and as a result of that, what we can see that these antibodies, which are called the anti-tumor antibodies or anti-cancer antibodies, let me write it here, they are called anti-tumor antibodies or anti-cancer antibodies. So they will come and mask all the antigens that are present. Now what we are looking at here is called antibody masking, right? So they are actually literally masking masking all the antigens that are present outside. So these are the antigens. These blue things are the antigens. Now these antibodies are masking them. Due to this antibody masking, all the other immune cells found difficult to find these antigens. So this is a kind of reverse action that are going to form because our immune cells are providing us all these antibodies to fight against the cancer cells. But it is found to have a negative effect that it is masking all the antigens so as a result of that other cells cannot detect the presence of these cells so now they cannot find them right this is a kind of thing that can also occur 
Similarly, if, if via the MAC1 molecules, this kind of interaction is done. So say if, if this via MAC1 molecule, if this uh, these antigens that are coming out from the cancer cells also, due to this antibody masking, nobody, uh, no other immune cells are going to find this kind of cells here, right? So these things are going to occur throughout this place, right? So as a result of that, as a result of this kind of masking throughout this place, it is extremely difficult for other cells to detect them. So these are the four major uh, type of mechanisms that uh, are taken by cancer cells to fight against our immune responses. Okay, so but at the end of the day, day one of them are definitely is going to win the war. Uh, so whether it is immune cell or the cancer cells, right? So we are nowadays providing several different uh, medications and other type of chemical factors which will enhance all the possibilities and which will block all the possibilities for going against our immune cell and which will en enhance all the possibilities for our immune cells to fight against the infection, right? And we hope in future we can succeed it, right? So that's it and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.